little stereo It beats for you, so listen close Hear my thoughts in every note Oh, oh Make me your yeah. radio <laughs> And turn me up when you feel low Turn This melody bit. was meant for you right To sing there. along to my stereo Two class heroes, baby Week 51 of the Beer Bogs. I am certified to ride a motorcycle after I go to Secretary of State. I'm not going to spontaneously combust. I'm not going to blow into the back of a truck. It's going to die. I'm not going to flip and die. Okay, people? I'm not going to die. Beer. Beer. <laughs> Now that's out of the way, uh, YMCMB, respect it. We also support people who work at Hooters. Plug for Hooters. Learn to pour your beer in the right glasses, please. No, it wasn't Hooters. It was somewhere else. Oh, sorry. Just kidding. Hooters, you're fine. Um, so this week we went to Meyer because we wanted to find a beer that was just kind of normal. Kind of like a normal beer that people might actually try. Uh, we wanted to go with something summery. I'm making this all up. We just we just picked something. Yeah, <laughs> I think I was just grocery shopping. We were just grocery shopping, and we are just like, hey, beer section. Of course, we had to go look at it, because we love beer and shit. So, um, yeah. So, this week we got... I, I, it, this one did sound good, though. Like, we, we picked this one out for a reason. Uh, it is summer, and so part of being summer is there are these, like, great wheat beers. You have, like, Oberon. You got, like, Summer Shandy, which is my personal favorite. And then you got, like, I guess Shock Chops year round. But Shock Chops is a great summer beer. It's really, really underrated. Um, so this week we have Samuel Adams Coastal Wheat. And uh, this one is a wheat ale brewed with lemon peel. So we are really kind of expecting sort of a lemony taste. I, I, the one review I read... Ooh, that was close. <laughs> it's all good. The one review I read said it was like just straight up like lemony, a little bit like weedy, and... That's about it. It's not like it's supposed to be a complex beer. It's Sam Adams, a nice summer beer, nice macro brew. So, yeah. Hopefully our Obermann turns out like this. Yes. I like how you said Obermann. Obermann. That's the name of it. I already named it. I know, but you said it so smoothly. Right? <laughs> Very well done. It's because I talk it up. You've been practicing. I have. Obermann's going to be good. Can't wait to bottle it and drink it. Not quite like a Pokemon. <laughs> Ooh. Could have been. Could have been a Pokemon. Pouring. 101. 45 degree angle. We learned this in... Heineken Amsterdam. Factory. Heineken Factory. 45 degree angle. Pour the beer. For all of you pouring fanatics, which there seems to be a few, you know who you are. 45 degree angle. Nice slow pour. Not getting a big head. If you don't get a big head on the beer, head's actually good because it... um. <laughs> Head's always good. <laughs> I slept for one hour last night. Um, I, I'm much better at this job than him. Yeah, okay, well, the reason that the head well, is he good... Didn't first, so I, I figured out to just, just... Very observant. Thank you. The reason head is good is because it keeps the carbonation in the beer. So all these bubbles, like, sit on the bottom of the head, and then your beer stays carbonated, so it's, it's a good thing. It's getting trapped. Getting trapped in there, and then so when you drink it, when you like drink the beer beneath the head, boom, carbonation, tasty stuff, like it's great. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I tried to turn the light on to get more color. It kind of looks like a pilsner, but it kind of looks like a lemony pilsner. It's a little bit cloudy. Uh, it's not clear like uh, the domestic shit beers, Miller Light, Coors Light, Bud Light. Um, so it it kind of looks like a lemon to me. What's the ingredient that clears the beer again? Some moss, green moss, grass moss, something it, moss, sage moss. Oh, that's what they need, or maybe they don't need it to, because they're trying to go for that look. But if you wanted to clear up your beer, there's an ingredient to clear up the beer. We're four minutes in, we haven't tried this beer. Let's drink. Cheers. Oh. Oh, hmm. That is really. A nice lemon beer. Yeah. You do, ooh, you get a... The back end is weedy, though. Yeah. That's weird. Did you catch that? Yeah, you get the lemon while drinking, and then it's a little weedy at that. Yeah. I think this is going to be what our, our, beer, our beer's going to taste like. It's just... It, it tastes like... It basically tastes like a 
lemon peel in the beer, kind of like a shandy, like you get that lemony flavor, and then at the back end you get like some wheat, some wheat flavors, like straight up like wheat, like it doesn't taste like a wheat beer to me, it tastes like like wheat, like grains. That's, I feel like that's what the back end is, it tastes like grains. You make it sound really dry if you say that, but... The back end is kind of dry for me. It's a little bit dry. It's not like, um, that Texas beer. Bach. Yeah, the Bach, that was really dry. Shiner Bach. This is pretty good, though. This, this is a, a really good summer beer. Um, Sam Adams, a lot of people love them. I don't know, they're kind of mediocre for me, but... I would definitely recommend if you want to just try something a little bit different than Summer Shandy, even though it's the best lemon beer out there, and like Oberon. Uh, this is a nice little mix of like a like a hybrid, lemony. Sam Adams has like the good double box Oktoberfest, and maybe this. Do we have a double box? Sam Adams does. We never had it. I know, but I've heard good things. Not <laughs> things. Um. Yeah, this is pretty good. I don't know. I, people should just try different beers anyway, and I, I feel like this is this isn't too far off the beaten path. You can get it at Meyer, so you can also get ham sandwiches at Meyer. <laughs> We're talking about beer. Um, so yeah, go go try this beer. It's good, real good lemony flavor. I could I could definitely just sip this on a summer day like today. Um, I think this, I'm gonna consider this my celebration beer for passing motorcycle glass and enjoy it. Congratulations. Thank you. We forgot to give the beer a rating, so we're back. Um, let's give this a rating. 3.8. 3.8? Yep. I'm going to give this a 3... I'm going to give this a 3.99. Not quite a 4 for me, not quite in that class. It's still in the 3s category, but this is a... I, I love these lemon beers. They just... Mm -hmm. They taste great. They're good summer. Great summer beers. I, I like beers. I, but I would drink this year-round. These lemon beers, they just taste good. Yeah. It's like drinking an alcoholic lemonade. Kind of like a Mike's Hard, except more of a beer. Yeah. More of a man's Hand flavor. Hand sandwiches of five. <laughs> you dumb. Bye!